Get back out there. All systems are go. Dad, could you give us a second? Huh? Just a second, uh, please. You look beautiful. Did you do it? Yes, I did it. I opened my best friend's casket and I looked inside. Yeah, Philip Spaulding. Yeah, that's right, the guy that was killed. Well, supposedly, anyway. Listen, I just wanted to send the photo over and see if anything turns up, okay? Okay. Yeah, no, that's great, thanks. She was happy. She's ready to get married, okay? Okay, just like before. I mean, this no, is just shh, too... Shh, before. Gus, what? Don't do it. I'm just saying she's okay. Do it. Yeah, but, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my bride telling me, secret code, that she is ready to get married, so. Yes? Yes, 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 of yes. Yes. yes, okay. <laughs> no, 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 without me you don't. Oh, right. Oh, Zach, do you, you want to walk down the aisle with me and Grandpa? Uh, just the beginning, actually. What's wrong? You, you lost your best friend. It's a wedding! You should oh. smile! Well, come on, we better get in there. We don't want to miss it. Let's go, darling. Oh. I forgot to get a gift. Well, there's plenty of time to send one, darling. How much do you spend on a, on a wedding gift? Well, around a thousand, but... Look, I'm sure Gus and Harold, they don't expect you to be that extravagant. And, you know, considering your situation right now. My situation? Oh, that my family cut me off and I oh. just don't have any money in my name. Ah. <gasps> well, look, if you want to, go down to Egan's. You charge something for Gus and Harold. You just put it on my account. Come on. No, I can't do that. It's not right. I'll figure it out. I'll take care of myself. Okay, can we go? Sit 
Gus, are you ready? I was ready a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it should have been a year ago. Here, come here. Yeah. Come sit with Grandpa. Dearly beloved, family and friends of Harley Cooper and Gus Itoro, welcome to their wedding. These two people are shining examples of what it is to hang on to hope in the face of incredible adversity. And during all your travails and challenges, your love did nothing but get stronger. And as Shakespeare put it, star-crossed, tempest-tossed. Yet here you are, together, in front of God, in front of your family and friends, stronger than ever. I'm confident that I speak for all who love you when I say that it is a privilege to be here with you today. For it is a joy to witness the beginning of a new and wonderful and hopefully less eventful <laughs> chapter in your lives together. <laughs> the good book tells us that we should not enter into marriage lightly. And you have taken that advice to heart. You have not entered into this commitment without a great deal of thought, so much so that you have written your own vows. And now the moment for that has arrived. Harley, would you begin? I think you'll like them much more this time. Gus, are we really here? I would ask you to pinch me, but if it's a dream, I don't want to wake up. I want to stay in this dream forever because it almost didn't happen. You made a mistake. And then I made one too, and I couldn't forgive you because I became afraid. I was afraid because I still loved you with all my heart. And in the past, love has hurt me. What am I gonna do, Harley? I'm not afraid anymore. How am I going to tell you that Philip's still out there? Because I am ready to spend the rest of my life with the most wonderful man in the world. I love the way you look at me. Like right now. Like there's nobody else in this room. We've been together a long time. And still... When you look at me like that, my heart. Thank you for opening your heart to me and my children. Thank you for loving my children. That is a sign of a real man. I couldn't love anybody the way I love you. You kept me calm when I was frightened and alone. And so, now, here, in front of God, and all these beautiful and handsome people, I, Harley Cooper, promise you, Gus I Toro, that I will love you more and more with every passing day, through the joy and adversity that life throws our way. I will support you and encourage you and believe in you the way that you have believed in me for the rest of our lives. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
Ghost. Mm. You're up. <laughs> well, you make it sound like a big deal that I, I stuck by your side this whole past year. And the truth of the matter is, I didn't really have a choice. You're it. You're it for me. End of story. That smile. I mean, how could that not hook a guy forever and just never let him go? And then you introduced your crazy family into the picture. <laughs> That's right, Frank. <laughs> and your kids. I also know that everything good that has happened to me is because of you. And anything bad is just part of the price that had to be paid to be able to be here right now at this moment so that I could say to you in front of God and all these, these people and witnesses that I want to thank you. Because I feel blessed and I feel honored that you said yes and that you would be mine. And I promise you that I will love you each and every single day, no matter what joy or adversity is thrown our way. So that does right. We talked about that. Yes. That I will encourage you and I will love you and I'll support you and I'll believe in you just the way that you believe in me every single day. And I will take care of you and our children. But most importantly, I'm just gonna just gonna be grateful for you every day for the rest of our lives. Okay. Yay! <laughs> You're going to boarding school. <laughs> now that Harley and Gus have exchanged their vows, it is time for me to make a completely rhetorical statement. If there be anyone who has reason to object to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Going once, going twice, no takers, just as I thought. <laughs> now then, at this point we need the rings. Ah. Harley? With this ring, I thee wed. And with all that I am and all that I have, I pledge myself to you for the rest of our lives. <laughs> and with this ring, I thee wed. <laughs> with all that I am and all that I have for the rest of our lives. Harley and Gus, you have pledged your eternal love to one another, and you have done so before God and before your family and friends. You have exchanged <laughs> rings symbolizing that eternal love, and that has brought us to this moment. Therefore, by the power vested in me by the city of Springfield, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> You may now kiss your lovely bride. <laughs> okay, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. Oh, Much. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> well, I guess we know what Rick said, right? Yes. Philip was in the casket. So he's dead. Mm -hmm. End of story. Well, I'm just sorry for Rick. I know. I wish it could have been easier, but it's the way it had to be. Now we can go onwards and upwards, and we don't have to look back. Yeah. I guess Zach really has lost his daddy, though. Yeah, but he gained a stepdad. Yes, the best any kid could ask for. 
Jesus. I gotta tell you, you uh, you're killing me. Oh. You're, you're you're smoking. This old mm -hmm. rag. Shut up. You're stunning. <laughs> well, if I am, you know why? Why? Because you make me so happy. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that why you disappeared on me before? I turned around and you were gone, and no one knew where you went. I need something to take care of. Oh, what? Some bridesmaidsy thing? No. Actually, I went to go talk to Michelle. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Uh, <laughs> not that I'm complaining, but what was that for? That was a send-off. Okay, a send-off. Where am I going? You're going to go set up the band so you can play music because I would love to dance. Ah, well, you know this recorded music. You can dance to recorded music. You're so music. not getting out of this. You're right. I'm not. But it's it's not me. It's 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 the guys. You know, in the band, it's they, they got a problem with it. They don't do weddings. Yeah, they feel like they're selling out. They're not selling out. They're doing a good deed for a good friend. No I big know, deal. That's what I keep telling them, but uh, they keep telling me that they need something more. You know that, like a quid pro quo. Okay, whatever, whatever. Give them whatever they want. Whatever's gonna make them happy. Fine. They want you to sing backup. I can't sing. You know that. You're, you're really not that bad. This is cruel and unusual punishment. No, this is mutual humiliation. I just wanted to come over and say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. This beautiful ceremony, and you both look very happy. Well, we're glad that you could come. Aren't we? Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Of course. We're glad you came. Of course. And, um, we kind of have, um, good news. I mean, sort of good news. Um, Philip's body was exhumed today. And he was in the casket. So he's, he's dead. Wow. Uh... Really? Yeah, Rick. Uh, Rick was the one who did the exhumation. Uh. He was there. Rick, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, that would be the guy that would know. So that's, uh. That's great. That's great news. Hey, Pop. What the mm -hmm. hell are you doing? You're missing all the fun. I uh, changing the battery. You paid a video guy to do this. Come I on, know, come on. I know. They're good, but they're dry. I have more pizzazz. Yeah, if you don't come out now, you're going to miss everything. Now, come on. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm so happy for Harley. I really am, and you certainly are the proud father. I am that. Yeah. Well, I'm grateful that Harley and Gus even invited me. You know, it's, and it was a lovely wedding. It, it was. I mean, they got married. I'm not in cuffs. <laughs> yeah. Well, enjoy yourself and congratulations. Al. I know you signed the papers committing Alan. And I'm sure you're wondering whether he was telling the truth. Gus had the casket exhumed. Rick ID'd it. It's Phyllis' body. Well, I, I, I'm glad you're the one to tell me. I mean, I couldn't help wonder, of course. I mean, Alan, Alan was so sure. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I couldn't help wishing, Philip. <sighs> Alan's lost it. Uh huh. So, I uh, just read uh, a little article in the paper. Good work. Uh, something else I want you to do. I want you to stake out men at the airport, the bus station, and the train station, because I think when Philip reads this, he will be coming home, and I want to be ready. Lizzie, Lizzie, I, I know that we're having problems, but we could at least talk. About what? How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I have no money. You took it away from me. I'm probably the only person here who couldn't afford a wedding gift. Well, you know, there is a solution to that. You could move back home where you belong. What happened to being independent and responsible? You really do have problems. 
Be careful what you walk away from, Lizzie. It might not still be there when you realize you need it. What are you talking about? I just mean that Gus is in charge of things now. There's no telling what he'll do with the company, let alone the family. Well, I trust Gus. Really? The same man who tore you apart on the witness stand. Be careful, sweetie. Gus is out for Gus. Well, I don't care if you want Spalding. It don't is. you say that. This company is your father's legacy, and if Gus runs it into the ground, there goes your future. What future? My money? You already took that away from me. Lizzie, don't do this. You're making a mistake. Well, I really don't think so, but if I am, hey, it runs in the family. Here's to Mrs. Ituro. Did I mention I'm not um, changing my name? Well, as long as you keep that ring on your finger. Oh, it's never coming off. That's why I use super glue. Very sneaky. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm not taking any chances. Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Why did you go see Michelle? I thought her phone call about Robbie and the misunderstanding about the insurance information was weird. It seems kind of like an excuse. For what? I don't know. Maybe just to talk to you, see if what I said about you moving on was true or not. And I wanted her to know that it was. Well, I think you made that very clear earlier over your phone call. Yes, and guess yeah. what? She got the point. In fact, she says that she's moving on too, and she wants us to be very happy. Well, good. So I invited her here. What? You. You are a stone-cold freak. And you love it. What are all those envelopes about? Greek wedding. The Italians do it too. They do... They do what? Well, they give cash to the newlyweds. You mean to tell me those things are filled with money? <laughs> By the looks of it, I think uh, Gus and Holly are going to make out pretty well. Thanks. Hey, Yaku. Excuse me, I need you for one second, okay, man? Yeah, sure. Hold on, I'll be right back. Gentlemen, little critters, let me have your attention here. I want to, want to welcome you to this event, this uh, event that... That we uh, never thought would happen? Speak for yourself, Bradshaw. Yeah. <laughs> Gus and Harley, could you please? <laughs> Gus and Harley worked long and hard to find their way back to each other, and we're glad they found their way to us. And I am over the moon that my beautiful and amazing daughter found a guy that knows how lucky he is to have her. Yeah, here, here. Okay, so let's crank up the music. Gus? Yes, yeah. crank it up. You have to dance with your wife. Music! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Gus I. Toro. Yeah, I believe this is our dance. Words I pray I've been blessed by the simple. Great party, eh, Rick? Yeah, great party. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to start your day off on such a different note. Harley told me what you were up to this morning, boy. That couldn't have been an easy thing to do. No, it wasn't, but it comes with the territory. Yeah. What, what, what territory is that? Being a medical examiner. Mm. Job's full of very unpleasant duties. Yeah, boy, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, huh? Well, you're a cop. You know the deal, right? Yeah, I'm a cop. I'm beginning to wonder how good of a cop I actually am. I mean, I was, I was following what I thought were some pretty good leads on Philip, actually starting to think he was maybe alive, mm. and then you tell me he's dead. Philip's like, dead, I saw him in the casket. Well, you can't doubt a statement like that. You know, I was curious, uh, what's the procedure with an exhumation? I mean, do they do they have someone there who helps you witness it? Sure. To, like an assistant or something? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. What about this time? Well, this time I was alone, but if you wanted to join me, you were more than welcome to ask mm -hmm. me. But, uh, oh, that's all right. That's, I'm sorry. That's, you didn't know until after the fact, right? 
It's interesting. I guess Harley didn't feel compelled to share that information with you, just me and Gus, her friends. You think she's safe now? Oh, I know she's safe. And I also know my friend's in a better place. Where were that? Now it's time for us just to move forward, right? You sure about that, Rick? Positive. I thought you would be at the wedding. I was. But I thought my time could be better spent here with you getting a few things straight. Well, sure. Like what? I told my mother about your proposal. Oh, oh I'm sure Lillian was thrilled, huh? She thinks you're using me. But I said no. Alan doesn't see me that way. He has too much respect for me. Uh, you're absolutely right. But we both know. We're using each other. I've learned a thing or two living under the same roof as you, Alan. Among other things, I've learned to like myself. I know who I am and what I have to offer. And if and when I do marry again, trust me, it will be a 50-50 partnership, sometimes even 60-40 in my favor. I will not suppress my needs or my identity for any man ever again. Good for you. What do you think Gus plans to do with the company? Mm. I've heard some rumors, none of them good. Yes, I've heard the same rumors. This family, this company, was everything to Philip. And Gus just waltzes in and starts giving Lizzie advice, dangerous advice. He thinks that he can make major decisions that will affect each and every one of us for years to come. You have the power to stop it, if you want to. Oh, I know that. In fact, I'm already one step ahead of you. It's got you in. All righty. One of my few remaining prerogatives. My pleasure. I'll have it for the rest of my life. You happy? I'm ecstatic. Well, I never would have guessed it. Yeah. Okay, everybody dance. Everybody. Excuse me. There's something I need to say to you. What? Too many onions? I was wrong. You are definitely the right guy for my sister. You always were. Hey, Gus. Thank you for making her so happy. Okay. Yeah. Well, theory, Frank. <laughs> it's not just the onions. <laughs> Come on, let's go get some rugrats, the little ones, and do a little family dance. Come on. Come here, Zach. Little family dance. Hey. Come on, jump in your face. Hey. Yeah. There you are, big guy. Come here, man. <laughs> Come on. All right. Hey. 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 All right. Pop, where are you? Come here. <laughs> you know this song? Yeah. 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 Dr. Bauer. Are you on? Can you talk? Yeah. Listen, Philip. Um, I have everything under control. Nobody knows your secret's safe with me. I know that what I'm asking you to do is difficult. Anything. Anything for you, buddy. And I will continue to keep my promise to watch out for Beth and the children. But I have to tell you, um... The, the um... The lying, it's, um, the lying's really taking a, a, a toll on me. I don't like it one bit. I mean, there's so many questions that you haven't answered. 
And you know you can talk to me about anything, buddy. I am still your best friend. Good friend is still the hardest thing to come by. No kidding. Man, do I wish I could just turn back the clock. No, we were young, how simple everything used to be. It was just you and me and Mindy and Beth. Yeah. Sure. Sure, I remember that. So about your proposal, Alan, I accept. I can't wait to become Mrs. Alan Spaulding. So let's get married right now. When are you coming home, Philip? I can't tell you that. I understand. Time to go, pal. Okay. I, um... Hope to see you soon. I want you all to enjoy yourself and thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming, really. This was such a great Let day. Yeah. It was so special in, in every every single way. We couldn't have asked for more. So thank stay you. and enjoy the cake, but we have to go. We're going to go to the airport. We're going to Greece, as you know. White sand, blue water. Of course, who, who would like to come? Oh, it's not yeah, happening because yeah, we're going by ourselves. It's the honeymoon. The only time I get her to myself. Mm. You're not leaving now, are you? No, we yeah. do. We have to leave now. <laughs> we have a time. flight to catch. Leave but please stay and, and enjoy the party, really, mainly because my father is paying for it. <laughs> uh, can I have a, a round of applause for my dad? This was oh, a yes. great day. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, thank you. You are the best maid of honor. Please stay out of trouble. Of course. <laughs> thank you. You're the best. Hey, you're not too shabby yourself. I will. Cassie. Thank you. When I get back, I want to know what other hidden talents Jeffrey has. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, when I first met you, you punched me. <laughs> Look at us now, we're family. I can't. Yes. So we are. How about a hug for you? Of course. Oh, I'm so happy for you and Harley, darling. I, yeah. I know you're going to have a wonderful life. And are you going to be okay when we're done? I'll be fine. Roxy will take care of me. So will I. Oh, sis. Oh. Try not to miss me too much, Frank. Uh, actually, I could use the rest. <laughs> have I worn you out? No, no, not at all. Well. Maybe with Philip's murder and the investigation uh, and uh, wondering if Philip is still alive. I mean, yes. the whole thing. Uh, yes. I have worn you out. I have. <laughs> I love you. Mommy, mommy! Mommy, mommy! Hey, you guys! Okay, okay. Come here. Come here. This is a small family hug. This is a small family hug. Oh, now listen, you guys. Oh, baby. Babies, I'm gonna miss you so much. But we are gonna bring you back the coolest souvenirs from Greece, okay? Well, so don't worry about you. it. And you're gonna have so much fun hanging out with Rick and Mel and Leah and taking pictures and doing all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we gotta right, go. Right? Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta right. go, okay? I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you, okay? Oops. Oh. <laughs> don't do that when we're not here. Well, don't try that at home. Okay. Right. We're going. Uh, we goodbye, go. everybody. Oh, how could I forget? Everybody line up, line up, line up. Sorry. Oh, dear. Single women, single women. Wait. Get over. Okay. Time is sharp. Come on. Okay. Everybody ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Gosh, we throw a good wedding. Yes, we do. And your regrets? Regrets? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a big one. Why didn't we do this sooner? I love you. I love you. I love you. I, I love, love you. you. Do I, I say that you. too much? No. 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 I haven't heard it enough and don't stop loving me, okay? Till death do us part. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Come on, 
This has been Guiding Light.